Welcome to Stories for Sleep, where we bring you calming bedtime stories to help you relax and drift off into a peaceful slumber. I'm Mary, your guide for the night, and before we begin tonight's sleep story, let's take a moment to prepare for a restful night's sleep. Find a comfortable position in your bed, close your eyes, and take a deep breath. Slowly exhale, releasing any tension in your body and sinking deeper into the softness of your mattress. Allow your mind to let go of any worries or stress from the day and simply relax. Now let's begin tonight's story about the llama in the living room. Once upon a time, there was a quirky and eccentric Swedish woman named Sanna who lived in a cozy little house on the outskirts of town. Sanna was a creative soul who loved to paint and write poetry. Her house was filled with colorful paintings, quirky knickknacks, and books stacked high on shelves. One evening, Santa was enjoying a peaceful night's sleep in her comfortable bed. The cool breeze was blowing in through the open window, and the soft sound of crickets chirping outside was lulling her to sleep. However, Sana's peaceful slumber was rudely interrupted by a loud and persistent knocking on her front door. The knocks were forceful and insistent, causing Sana to jolt awake and sit up in bed, her heart racing. Wondering who could be knocking on her door at such a late hour, Santa rubbed the sleep from her eyes and made her way to the front door. She was feeling a mix of curiosity and concern, as the knocks showed no sign of stopping. Santa stepped outside her cozy little house and was met with the sight of her neighbor, Rick, who looked a bit frantic and began talking fast. His words were a bit difficult to follow. He mentioned something about a strange growling noise coming from Santa's house and that he was concerned for Sana's safety. Despite the confusion, Sana tried to stay calm and focused. She listened carefully to Rick's words, hoping that she could help him in some way. She asked him to take a deep breath and explain what was going on. As Rick took a deep breath, he explained that he had heard a strange noise coming from Sana's house and had become concerned. He said that he had been trying to get her attention for a while but she had not responded until now. Santa was relieved to hear that Rick wasn't in any immediate danger and that he was simply worried about the strange noise. She explained that she had been asleep and had not heard him knocking earlier. Santa realized that her neighbor Rick needed to see what the noise was to help calm him down and invited him inside to show him. Hey Rick, I've got something that will explain everything. Come on in, Sana said gesturing for him to follow her into the house. The moment he walked into the living room, he froze in his tracks at the sight of a huge llama standing next to the sofa. Its soft, fluffy fur glistened in the warm glow of the lamp, and its gentle, wide-eyed gaze seemed to lock onto his own. He couldn't believe what he was seeing, and for a moment he wondered if he had somehow stumbled into a dream world. Rick had never seen anything like it before. His eyes widened in disbelief as he took in the sight of the enormous llama standing calmly in the living room. He felt a mix of confusion and fear, wondering how such a large and exotic animal had made its way into his neighbor's house. Santa, on the other hand, was completely unfazed by the unusual scene. She smiled warmly at Rick and gestured for him to come closer. She began to introduce him to the friendly llama, speaking to the animal in a soft and soothing voice. As Rick cautiously approached, he couldn't help but notice the llama's soft and gentle eyes, which seemed to radiate an aura of peace and tranquility. As Rick tried to make sense of the strange and unexpected sight of a llama in a living room, Santa quickly moved to calm him down. She explained that the noises he had heard earlier were just her pet llama, and that the animal was harmless and friendly. The llama stood calmly next to the sofa, its soft fur glistening in the warm light of the room. Rick stared at the llama for a few moments, then burst out laughing. Well, I'll be damned. I never thought I'd see a llama in someone's living room. Rick slowly began to relax as he watched Santa interact with the llama. He saw the way the animal nuzzled up against her, and the way Santa's eyes lit up as she talked to it. He couldn't help but feel a sense of calm wash over him as he realized that the llama was indeed harmless. Santa continued to speak softly to the animal, introducing it to Rick 
and explaining its name, Chow Chow. Rick tentatively reached out his hand to touch the animal, surprised by how soft and gentle its fur felt. He couldn't believe how quickly he had gone from being afraid of the creature to feeling comforted by its presence. As Santa and Rick sat together with the llama in the room, the tension in the air dissipated, replaced by a sense of warmth and peacefulness. The animal seemed to have a calming effect on both of them, and they found themselves lost in conversation, discussing everything from the strange noise that had brought Rick to Santa's doorstep to the quirks of living in their small town. Rick's initial fear and anxiety had dissipated as Santa calmed him down and introduced him to the gentle and friendly llama. As he sat on the couch, he was completely captivated by the unusual animal, and any lingering sense of worry had been replaced by curiosity and wonder. Santa eagerly shared all her knowledge about llamas with Rick, feeling a sense of joy as she watched him grow more and more fascinated by the animal. She told him about how llamas were originally from South America, where they were often used as pack animals to carry goods over long distances. She explained that llamas were social creatures who loved to be around other llamas, and that they were often used as guard animals to protect flocks of sheep from predators. As she talked, Sana pulled out her phone and showed Rick pictures and videos of other llamas and alpacas. They both marveled at the animal's long, graceful neck, large, expressive eyes, and fluffy fur. Sana even showed him a video of a llama rolling around in the grass, its legs flailing in the air as it happily frolicked. Rick listened intently, asking questions and soaking up all the information he could about the fascinating creature standing right beside him. He reached out and gently stroked the llama's soft fur, feeling its warmth and the texture of its coat. As he did so, he felt a sense of calm and contentment wash over him, grateful for this unexpected encounter and newfound knowledge about llamas. As the night wore on, Sana and Rick sat together on the couch, chatting and petting the llama, who seemed content to relax in their company. For a brief moment, all worries and concerns were forgotten, and the cozy little house on the outskirts of town was filled with the warmth and joy of unexpected friendship. Sana and Rick sat together in the peaceful silence of the night, the only sound being the gentle chewing of Chow Chow's food. They sat in comfortable silence, both lost in their thoughts about the strange turn of events that had brought them together. As they sat there, Rick couldn't help but feel grateful to Santa for showing him such an unexpected and amazing experience. He had never seen a llama up close before, let alone in someone's living room. The experience had shaken him out of his earlier anger and frustrations, reminding him of the joys of life and the unexpected moments of connection that can happen between people. Sana, on the other hand, was delighted by the newfound bond she had formed with her neighbor. She had always been a bit of an eccentric and had never really had many close friends in the neighborhood. Sana felt a deep sense of connection with Rick, as if they had known each other for a long time. She found herself opening up to him in a way that she had never done before sharing personal stories and secrets that she had kept hidden from others. As they talked, Sana noticed that Rick was a good listener, and he seemed genuinely interested in what she had to say. She appreciated his sense of humor and the way he made her laugh, even in the midst of the chaos that had unfolded earlier that evening. The llama, now curled up in a corner of the room, seemed content to listen to their conversation as well. It was as if the animal understood the importance of this moment, of two people coming together in friendship and shared experiences. For Sana, this was a transformative moment. She had always considered herself to be a bit of a loner, content to spend her time alone with her animals and her thoughts. But now, with Rick by her side, she realized that there was something special about human connection and the power of friendship. As the night wore on, they talked and laughed until the early hours of the morning. Eventually, they both grew tired and said their goodbyes, promising to meet up again soon. As they said their goodbyes, Sana felt a sense of joy and contentment that she hadn't experienced in a long time. 
She couldn't help but smile as she watched Rick make his way back to his own house, feeling grateful for the unexpected turn of events that brought them together that night. As she closed the door and made her way to her bedroom, she reflected on the power of friendship and the beauty of unexpected connections. She knew that she had made a new friend in Rick and that their bond would only continue to grow stronger over time. As Sana lay in bed, she felt a sense of peace and contentment wash over her. Sana felt the softness of her pillow beneath her head and the warm blankets wrapped around her body. She closed her eyes and took a deep breath, letting the calmness of the night envelop her. The gentle rustling of the leaves outside her window and the occasional hoot of an owl provided a peaceful background to her thoughts. As she lay there, reflecting on the events of the evening, Sana couldn't help but smile. She felt a sense of satisfaction and joy that she had never experienced before. The memory of the llama's curious expression and the way it had nuzzled against her hand brought a warm feeling to her heart. As she drifted off to sleep, Sana knew that the bond she had formed with Rick and the llama was one that would last a lifetime. She felt grateful for the unexpected events of the evening and for the opportunity to make new friends. The sound of her breathing and the gentle rise and fall of her chest brought a sense of calmness and tranquility to her mind. She let herself relax and sink deeper into the softness of her bed, feeling the tension in her body slowly melting away. As the night went on, Sana's dreams were filled with the images of the llama and the joy of her newfound friendship with Rick. She knew that she would wake up in the morning with a renewed sense of purpose and happiness, ready to face whatever challenges the day might bring.